Hello students, I am G. Sahana from Department of ECE in Veltech Multitech Engineering College, Avadi. So now I am going to discuss a topic on LCDs and LEDs. Since LCDs and LEDs plays a major role in our day-to-day -day life. So in our LCDs and LEDs, so some basic construction and working we will see now okay so first of all let us see about lcds lcds is nothing but liquid crystal display this liquid crystals display is first invented by george h hilmer and later on improvements were done by james ferguson so now let us see what is a liquid crystal display so liquid crystal display is nothing but a screen so it has it, it has the principle of blocking light rather than emitting it. It will not emit the light. For, uh, so it will block the light. So LCD is a passive device. So it doesn't require any light to display characters. It simply alters the light traveling through it. So LCD does not produce any illumination on its own. So let us see about construction and working. So first of all, the LCD has two filters. One is vertically polarized filter, another one is horizontally polarized filter. In vertically polarized filter, the unpolarized light is passed. So in vertically polarized filter, the unpolarized light is passed. So the vertically polarized filter will produce the polarized light from the unpolarized light then this polarized vertically polarized light is passed to the second filter that is horizontally polarized filter so in this horizontally polarized filter no light output will be produced so let us see in this diagram we will clearly explain that unpolarized light is passed through vertical polarization filter so that it will produce vertically polarized light then this vertically polarized light is passed through the horizontally polarized filter so that no light output will be produced okay wa? so these two filters are oriented in 90 degrees to each other so see this vertically polarized light should rotate 90 degrees in order to power, pass through the horizontal polarized filter because vertically polarized filter will be in 90 degree okay well, so it, it should rotate 90 degree so this how this can be achieved means it can be achieved by embedding liquid crystal layer between both the filter so this liquid crystal layer consists of rod shaped tiny molecules the vertically polarized light passes through the, the, this liquid crystal layer and gets twisted to 90 degrees. If the liquid crystal molecules are twisted more precisely, then more light will pass through it. So like this, see in this next diagram, it is clearly explained that liquid crystal molecules orientation, this vertically polarized light is changed to horizontal polarized light, that is 90 degrees. Okay, well. So, and after that, two glass layers are placed in between the glass transparent electrodes are placed in between the front and back of liquid crystal. Okay, well, so the purpose of keeping this transparent electrodes is to orient the crystal molecules. If there is no voltage applied across the electrodes, then the orientation of molecules will remain twisted at 90 degrees. When the light passes through the outer polarizer, thus the pixel appears white. So this, this is the condition where no voltage is applied. When the voltage is applied, then the crystal liquid layer changes its orientation. Okay, well, when no voltage is applied, it will not uh, alter its orientation. 90 degrees will remain as 90 degrees itself. If the voltage is applied, then the orientation is changed. Okay, well, so the pixel appears black. So when no voltage is applied, the pixel appears white. When the voltage is applied, the pixel appears black. Okay, well, so this is the main diagram See. When no voltage is applied, the light output passes through in horizontal polarized filter. See the difference. When the light is, voltage is applied to the two glass molecules, so then the no light will be produced, so it will be black. Okay, well. <coughs> so, uh, for black and white we have seen. So, in order to produce color images, a color filter is placed, placed in the outer polarization pl plate. So, the three main colors are red, blue and green. 
these are the standard colors for lcd display so by varying the intensities we can change the pixels so like this see in this nest diagram and is clearly explained the color filter is placed that is red or green or blue okay wow. so in this way the black and white characters or images or the color images are produced so generally these electrodes this glass electrodes are made up of indium tin oxide that is ito indium tin oxide so it is a transparent material so uh, it is a transparent material so it is also called as glass electrode plate so lcd display is also called as twisted pneumatic lcd because we are twisting the orientation of the plates okay well, that light so this is also known as twisted pneumatic lcd so this is the basic construction and working of lcd so let us see about the types of lcd so first one character lcd or segment lcd display so in this this type of lcds will display only the alphanumeric values with some special char characters like currencies rupees pies like that euros in our different countries and different uh, currencies will be there no? so that symbols can be displayed using this character lcd or segment lcd display so where this lcd displays are used means in calculators display panels remote controllers etc so next one is graphical lcd display so graphical lcd displays can can produce any monochrome graphical images and animations that is moving images so here we are energizing the pixels in the lcd display so these are also capable to produce numbers and special symbols so this will also uh, display graphical images and also some numerical and special symbols so next one is color lcd display so this type of displays are we are using in TVs, laptops, PCs, monitors, everywhere. So this color LCD display has three sub pixels. That is three primary colors. So what are the three primary colors? You are, as I already said, red, blue, and green. So they can produce 16.77 million colors in the this from these primary colors we can produce. 16.77 million colors that all colors can be displayed in the color LCD display. So, these color displays require more number of transistors. So, okay, well, so because we are producing many colors or many pixels, so this <coughs> color LCD display will have more number of transistors. It is mainly used in television, laptop. And PCs so the main advantages of LCDs are <coughs> so LCDs consume less amount of power compared to LEDs and CRT because LCDs is a passive device as I already said next LCDs are thinner and lighter compared to CRT so in LCDs we are only using the set polarized filters only so it is a thin and light material it does not get affected due to increase and decrease in air pressure it includes millions of colors so these are the main advantages of lcds so the disadvantages of lcds are it requires additional light source so light source is used to produce color so it requires additional light sources limited range of temperature only it requires that is 0 degree to 60 degrees restricted to viewing angle then its speed is very slow so these are the main disadvantages of lcds so generally lcds is a passive device and it does not emit light it only alters the light so here we are using the two polarized filter one is vertical and another one is horizontal to change the orientation we are using the electrodes when these electrodes are <coughs> not applied voltage it will produce white color when voltage is applied it will produce and then for colors we are producing 
color filter the primary colors are red blue and green so this is the basic construction of the lcds as in summary so next let us see about leds that is light emitting diodes so light emitting diodes is also used in some displays so now let us see what is leds so leds are light emitting diodes an led screen is actually an lcd screen okay va but instead of having a normal ccfl backlight it uses light emitting diode normal light it uses light emitting diode so in leds instead of having a normal backlight it uses light emitting diode as a source of light behind the screen so this lc LED is more efficient than LCD. <coughs> so it has three main configurations It's for television screens like full array, edge light, or direct light. So these are the main configurations. So the first one is full array. So this is considered as the best method for LEDs. So LEDs are distributed evenly behind the entire screen. so this produces a more uniform black light and produces more effective use of local dimming so this is the bestest method among these three configurations so next one is edge light so this is the most commonly used lcds and it is mainly used in televisions so with this edge light led screen the leds are placed at the peripheral of the screen so depending on the television it can be all around the screen or only on the sides or the bottom this allows the screen to be very thin flash lighting or cloudy so next configuration is direct light so this is how the lower end led tvs are constructed similarly to the full array method the leds are directly behind the screen these tvs are not very thin because of the space required behind the screen and to diffuse the light over a big area so the main advantages of these leds are very long life low maintenance high efficiency and it does not produce heat so the main uh, nowadays they are using only leds for television so next the main disadvantages are leds are more expensive and it is limited range of temperature that is 0 to 60 degrees it is restricted viewing angle then the speed is very low so these are the some basic construction and working of leds and lcds so we are using as a television screen or monitor or pcs okay with this we complete this lecture thank you